Hey everyone, how hey. are you? Hey guys, how are you? So we are here today to talk about your portion control container. And the eating plan. Yes. We're going to break it down in layman's terms so it's easy for everyone to understand because it's really an easy, easy uh, uh, system once you get to, to know it and Absolutely. get to use it. That's right. Yes. So you've you've opened your package and you have this book and you have all of these containers, right? Yes. So what we suggest first thing you do is open this book and read it and we want you to know it cover to cover. Yes. But to help you out, we're going to go through it today, right? Exactly. So we're going to go through the entire food guide today mm -hmm. and uh, and we're just going to go over some of the important points, right? Yes. So with your containers, green is for veggies, okay? so. What you will do is you will put your veggies in the container and you need to be able to put your lid on. Okay, so you can shove leafy greens in there, um, you know, cucumbers, celery, um, leafy greens and kale will actually keep you full longer mm -hmm. because it is more nutritionally dense. Um, so you can shove as much as you possibly can in there. You can't go wrong with too many leafy greens. No, you can pack a lot of spinach in these can. containers. Exactly. Yep. Um, now keep to if you when you're looking in your guide you're going to see a food list keep to the top half of that food list because again or at least try to try to yeah. um, try to exactly because the celery and that will be at the bottom and, and cucumber those are more water based uh, vegetables that won't keep you as full as longer so the kale and the leafy greens will be at the top mm -hmm. um, so those are your best best ones to stick to more often and that goes for all of the food lists exactly the more nu more nutritionally dense uh, foods are at the top of the list and the less nutritionally dense are at the bottom yes and uh, you can never go too wrong with vegetables like if you know you've had all your containers for the day and you're feeling hungry at night just put some uh, cucumber in your in your container or and broccoli. have that as a snack there you or go. broccoli yep. perfect <laughs> next is purple these are your fruits okay um you'll fill it to the top again um and fruit oh is it tomato to yes tomato will go in the green how no, tomato goes in the fruit doesn't the, it no tomato goes in the green okay. if it's just tomato now if right. you're making salsa it's going to go in your uh, purple fruits because there's more, it's higher sugar content. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. Salsas, yeah. like store-bought salsas. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Um, then is your red. Unfortunately, we have misplaced our red. Uh, but I take them to work and they go missing. Yes. Net, red is your protein. So your lean proteins, your turkey, your um, chicken, chicken vegetable, beef. vegetables, beef. No. Why did I just Sorry, say vegetables? No, why did you say vegetables? <laughs> Jeez. Um, See if she's paying attention. So now, I, in the red, the red's just a little larger than your carbs. Um, you, or now, the yellow. The, sorry, so you'll have two eggs. You, you can fit one egg in the red container, but you're having two. It That's counts right. as one portion for two eggs. Right, and that goes for fruit too. Like you're not gonna be able to fit an orange into the actual container. So exactly. you, you will not peel the orange and take all the individual pieces and pack them in here and try to get two or three oranges. An orange is a serving a of serving. fruit. Exactly. And all your servings are in the book. Exactly. Right? And an apple is a serving. Mm -hmm. You won't cut it up and try and fit as many apples as you can in there. Yeah. All right, cool. Next. Uh, so next is... You didn't talk oh, about that. Oh, didn't talk about the carbs. No, we only use that as an example. <laughs> Save the yellows. Yeah. Uh, so yellows is your carbs, your starchy carbs. Now, okay, one thing I will say, Bread, this, you will put one multi-grain piece of bread equals one portion of carb. We're not right. talking white bread or rye bread, none of that stuff, multi-grain. Um, this would be rice, um, brown brown pasta, um, what else? Um, sweet potato, sweet potato. potato. And sweet potato, I believe, is a half. Yes. Half is one portion, just so you know. And not a huge sweet potato, one of like the normally just a medium. sized yep. medium sweet potato. Right. Um, Lentils all, also go in there too, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Blue. Blue. What's your blue? Healthy Here's fats. Healthy fats. Healthy fats. So healthy fats, we're looking at uh, raw nuts. We prefer pecans, almonds, and walnuts, and also avocado go in your blue. Yes. Uh, nut butters, 
However, you well, can... no, not nut butters. Nut butters are teaspoons. Yes. Yes. So, so I was just going to say that peanut butter does not belong in here. Peanut <laughs> butter is a teaspoon. Yes. Okay. All right. And hummus also goes hummus. in this one too. Hummus is great. Yeah, because we always get that question, where does hummus go? Hummus yeah. goes in your blue. Exactly. All right, that's your dressing. Next is orange, seeds, nuts, olives. Okay, dressings. in this little, and dressings, oils. Although here, do not use this to store dressings if you are leaving the house because this container, they're not completely, um, they don't seal. Well. Unless you're stacking it in like a lunch bag, then you should be okay. Yeah, I always end up with dressing in my lunch do bag. Do you? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They don't seal completely, so do not store dressing in these. Put them in a Ziploc, okay? So, also two, sorry, olives. You can only fit, what, two olives in here? It's actually 10 olives would be a serving of orange, yeah. okay? I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. and I think it's 10 almonds. Is it 10? Is it 10 almonds? Well, almonds are in your blue, sweetheart. Oh, sorry, blues. <laughs> sorry, yeah. guys. Yeah, seeds. These seeds. Are seeds. So that would so be. So you in can there. put yep. seeds in here, and there's a whole list of what seeds you can have. Mm -hmm. So then you would also have your teaspoons. All right, and those are your olive oils, right? Um, any other oils you use, coconut oil, things like that, and peanut butter as well, or other nut butters. Exactly. All right? And then also there are some free foods, right? Seasonings and spices. Yes. Evan's trying to get our attention here. <laughs> We're a little busy, okay, dude? I'll be right with you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So then you also have seasonings, um, you know, for your herbs and spices, for your water bar, any mint uh, seasonings and stuff that you want to put in your, in your water bar. Lemon is also in there too. Yes. Yes. It's All right. Fantastic. I think it's in there. It's actually not in there, but I'm putting it in there. Vinegars <laughs> as well. All right. So there you go. That's Do you have it. anything else? That's your containers. That's it. In, so, in, in the guide also, just so you know, there is a water bar recipes. There are a ton of great recipes for all the meals. It's a super fantastic read. So we do suggest watching this video, but also reading this back to back. Exactly. Right. Now, I, I would also suggest downloading the 21 Day Fix app, yep. um, you know, because as you start to get to know the portion sizes of your containers, you'll start to eyeball it, get to know it more. And then, you know, when you're out for dinner, you know which foods you should be picking, how you'd like it made and what your portion sizes will be. And you can actually go into the 21 day fix tracker app, select which foods you've eaten and, and, you know, even go in there to see which foods you're allowed to have. And it's on the go. So it's perfect. All right. Yeah. That's it. That's, That's it. your containers. If you have any questions, let us know. We are here to answer any of, of your questions. All righty. Yeah. Talk to you later. Bye, Bye. guys.